And so welcome to the practice this evening. And yeah, given what you've both shared too, I would love to focus on um, looking at how to practice with self-care. And self-care was a big focus in the program that I co-designed with Catherine Cook-Catone, Dr. Catherine Cook-Catone out of the University of Buffalo. She's a professor of psychology and she has developed a mindful self-care scale that you can actually um, look at and take online. And I'm, I'm going to put it in the chat here for you, um, just if, any, if, if you're interested here to look. Um, and so, you know, when you think about meditation, there are just different angles that you can take. You can practice meditation for inquiry where you're really focused on asking questions about the nature of mind. You know, you can practice meditation to focus on managing an emotion or working with the emotion, welcoming it, integrating it into the wholeness of who you are. You can use meditation to inquire about a belief, you know, and we've gone over that in these sessions. There's so many different um, applications in the meditation practice. And I think one key one that is kind of like a byproduct, but you, it could be your main focus is self-care. So to approach the meditation practice, um, even I could make some bad jokes about self and no self, but I won't right now. <laughs> um, but to really approach the, the meditation practice as an act of self-care, as an act of taking time to then do whatever it is that you will be doing during the practice. So for you, that could be inquiring into an emotion or um, just wanting a sense of rest, whatever it is. And in looking at the practice as a form of that kind of self-care, and I think when it's made more explicit, instead of being more like a byproduct to the meditation experience, then you can anticipate it, you know, this is in some of the science around scheduling pleasant events, even, you know, when you, when you know that you're going to take, you're going to act to care for yourself, and then you care for yourself in this way, and then you complete it, and you can look back and really let the memory sink in that, okay, I've, I've taken this action to take care of myself. And sometimes, you know, we can do that with rituals or other things. Everyone does different forms of self-care, but I would invite you to consider, you know, what are the forms of self-care that I do use when I am sort of finished with a day's of work, day's work and just ready to um, unwind? You know, what is it that would be a kind act for yourself? And um, if you, you know, like others here who are caring for others, how can you incorporate self-care into your meditation practice so that you have more sustainability in your care for others over time? And that is what we found as we, as we trained UN staff is that, you know, if they're able to do the self-care practices and meditation and whatnot, then at the end of the day, at their days, which are hard, long days, sometimes at refugee camps or different kinds of situations, um, intensive situations that, there's more sustainability over time because those acts of self-care happened frequently. Um, but they have to be intentional, you know, when you're in that kind of an environment. And so I think, you know, for those of us who aren't in that kind of an intensive environment, it's still really important to build self-care in and see it as, um, as part of a, the meditation practice, knowing that there are benefits that we have in simply doing the practice. So that's the frame for this evening. I'd love to do this practice on self-care. And uh, so whatever your intention is for going into the practice, let's go in with that. And just know that whether it's your intention or not, you know, self-care is what will happen, you know, just by showing up and doing the practice. So um, if there aren't any questions, let's just get started with the meditation and I'll do a full practice this evening and um, then we'll come back afterwards for any questions or reflections. Okay, feel free to turn your videos off. Great. 
and then settle in. If perhaps you have the same place that you always do the yoga nidra deep rest practice. Um, if so, just cozy on in and get comfortable. Maybe a pillow underneath your head, pillow underneath your knees. So as you're settling in, just begin by noticing the flow of the breath in and out. Can you feel the ground or the couch or bed supporting you? So you're aware of your body and then you're aware of where your body meets the surface that supports you. Letting go of kind of the mixture of everything that happened today that might be swir swirling around in your mind. You allow it to begin to just simply fade into the background. And then let your attention do an inward turn. So we're making that next step in meditation, the turn inward, pteroceptive awareness, just becoming aware of the body breathing, felt sense of the body as it rests on the surface that supports you. Can you let there be a sense of not rushing, not rushing through the practice, not rushing through this moment, but bringing your full presence to this very moment, no matter what your experience is. So let your body begin to rest, meaning perhaps there's a sense even of heaviness in the body as you begin to let go of any muscle tension that you're holding unnecessarily. But can you let the, the ground beneath you or the surface that's supporting you to absorb the weight, the feeling of perhaps heaviness, So you're not holding that, even that too, you're letting move right through you. And become aware of the periphery of your body as if you're making an outline of your body You bring your attention to the felt sense of the edges of yourself here. Just notice whatever happens in your experience as you bring attention to the periphery of you.
the breath coming and going, can you bring attention to perhaps the belly or chest as it's rising and falling? And whatever is in your experience in this moment is absolutely okay to be here as it is. So if an emotion comes up or any other thoughts, anything at all, just allowing, this deep allowing of whatever's here to be here. And allow also your attention to remain on the in and out breath. So in your periphery, these emotions or thoughts are here but your attention is stable and focused on the breath flowing in and flowing out. So you focus on the breath flowing in and out. Notice also the periphery of your body. You're feeling the whole inside of your body as if you're filling in that whole outline with sensation. The whole global sensation of your body at once from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, palms of your hands, belly. Attention is still rested on the breath as it comes and goes. Feeling a sense of your own presence to this moment. Just being here as we're beginning the meditation practice. And then can you feel the space around you? So you're feeling on the quote, outside of the periphery of you. Feeling the space around you. It's just a felt sense. You're feeling past the border and boundary of your body into space. This is poetic. So let yourself just simply with a felt sense, notice what would it feel like to sense your way into the space around your body. You may have a feeling that the borders get diffuse or there's just an overall sense of spaciousness. So you may be sensing a few inches or a few feet around the body, inviting in that quality of spaciousness. And it can feel also like a holding It's your own presence here. So breath coming and going and simply just noticing that inner sense of body feeling, spaciousness, and that outer spaciousness. Feeling both simultaneously So at this point in the meditation, can you allow yourself to feel the quality of your own presence in the meditation? So it's your attention to the moment. Maybe there's a feeling of kindness, of curiosity. Maybe it's just a felt sense for you. But can you feel yourself really embodying presence in this moment? Breathing in and out, no need to focus on anything else, any thoughts or anything else, but just 
the feeling of being and the feeling of presence. What's that like as you let yourself focus on the breath and being present? noting inwardly any intention for this meditation and welcoming all the senses, touch, sight, sound, taste, smell. Breath coming and going. We'll do a body scan beginning in the jaw and ending in the feet. So since your jaw, notice if there's any tension, tightness. Sensing both ears. So when I name a body part, simply bring your attention there, notice the sensation, and if you can, drop the image, simply feel both ears at the same time. Feeling the breath come through the nose or the mouth. And both eyes at the same time. So sense behind both eyes and allow your attention to slowly move through the midline of the brain to the back of the head, down to the back of the neck, to the shoulders. You may feel like a systematic kind of relaxation of muscles as you move body part to body part. Feeling now the sensation in your entire left arm and left hand. You may want to do this by inhaling to your left shoulder and exhaling all the way down to the palm of the left hand. And then as you breathe in and out, all of your attention is absorbed in your left arm, left hand. It's as if you don't have any other body part. You're just spotlighting your left arm, left hand, noticing sensations. Just being in the patience of the meditation practice as we're with whatever's here Rotating attention through the body. So now sense your entire right arm and right hand. Same, you may wish to inhale to your right shoulder and then exhale all the way down to the palm of the right hand. You may feel like the right arm and hand are lit up with sensation or perhaps it's numb, whatever's here is Perfectly fine as is, heavy, light, spacious, tingly. Breathing in and out, sensing only your right arm, right hand. Notice the flow of the breath in and out. Perhaps the breathing has slowed, the exhales are lengthening. 
Paying attention to the belly and chest as they rise and fall with the in and out breath. So there's very little effort simply following along with the guidance. Noticing sensation in the body, bringing a full presence to this moment. So sensing now both arms and hands and your whole torso, your head, neck, face, crown of your head. Can you feel your whole torso and up just alive with sensation? No need to interpret what you sense and feel allowing attention to rest on sensation. If thinking happens, just notice the thinking and then gently bring your attention back. Now bringing attention to your legs. So first focus on the left leg and left foot. You may want to inhale to the left hip and then exhale all the way down the left leg to the sole of the left foot. Spotlighting left leg, left foot. Noticing any sensation you may feel like a radiant, aliveness, a spaciousness. You feel energy, qualities of energy in the body. Whatever's here, welcome just as it is. There's no correct way to do this. If you notice yourself thinking or trying, just let that go and loosen and soften right back into this present moment. Left leg, left foot, breath in and out. No place you need to be right now, nothing you need to do or know or get. This is just open meditation, focusing on your left leg and foot. Now shift attention to the right leg, perhaps with an inhale, right hip. Exhaling all the way down the right leg to the sole of the right foot. And here too, you may feel the, the right leg and foot kind of light up with aliveness. Breathing in and out. Perhaps resting in the simplicity of the practice, just sensing right leg, right foot only. How can you bring your whole presence and attention to both legs, both feet simultaneously? Notice what you experience. So the whole bottom half of the body, sensation. And then welcome also the whole top half of the body, torso, arms and hands, face, head. Sensing now your whole body at once.
helping the mind remember it can just focus in this present moment on the body. The mind can rest. Inviting deeper states of rest and relaxation into your whole body. We're inviting rest and relaxation, but we're also without agenda. So just being with whatever's here in this moment. Bringing your attention back to the flow of the breath in and out. The simple rhythm of the breathing. Perhaps this meditation is a real moment of self-care for you, so I would just take a moment to feel an appreciation to yourself for showing up and caring in this way. And notice if you do feel into the heart, perhaps having a, a moment of gratitude just for the chance to meditate in this, in this scene here. Notice, are there any other emotions present? So we're just kind of opening up the vista and seeing, are there any other emotions present that may have been hiding behind a door or just something we haven't seen in this, in this moment or today, but something that is here. So if there is, then just in this wide open view, this vista, can you allow any emotions, emotional tones to be here just as they are? Like a sadness, a, a joy, a disappointment, just as it is without agenda, not needing to change or fix it. But seeing the, the beauty of it just as it is. It may be a felt sense somewhere in your body. If it's disappointment, it may feel like a contraction in your chest or forehead. Or if it's joy, it may feel like an expansion in your shoulders, arms and hands, heart. So embodying whatever emotion may be here, if there is one, just as it is. And if there's no particular emotion, just let your attention remain on the flow of the breath in, the flow of the breath out. But can you feel this open heartedness toward your experience where you're welcoming it just as it is, any emotions? It's very radical practice. You may feel uh, movements of energy through your body or perhaps a deep stillness, whatever's here again, just noticing moment to moment if it's in your inner experience. As you do so, kind of allow the surface that's supporting you to support you. So let go inside the body of any holding anywhere that's unnecessary. You may notice certain thoughts that just keep being intrusive or, or jumbled or repetitive. 
and you allow those two to just be exactly as they are in this open vista style of meditation. And just as the surface is supporting you, can you let those thoughts, memories, images be supported? So it's like they're held. You don't need to hold on to them. So even letting go, letting the emotions be seen, be felt, be welcomed, and just be held and supported. But no need to hang on. Same with the thoughts and images, ideas, memories. Let them be held as well. No need to hold on. They'll find you again if they're important. So what's left when you've met the body as sensation, you're tuned to the breathing in and out, emotions and thoughts and images are more than welcome to come and go in awareness. Explore your experience at this subtle level. What's present now? What's here now? If all of this is held, then what's it like just to be and just to rest? Even the self-image and the idea of who you are and who you should, shouldn't be and how you're going to show up tomorrow and all of that, even that too, that too, that can be held, but not, not by you just allowing it just to be held by, in a sense, the surface that's supporting you, but just feel the support underneath all that's coming and going. And you hear resting as this quality of awareness. It's aware of all of this coming and going. Not separate from, but aware of. Intimate with, but aware of. Perhaps you could even drop this slight distancing that's here in the terminology of being aware of what's coming and going. What happens if you drop the distance in the language there? You just be. You feel your way into an intimacy with the 10,000 things, as the saying goes, just feeling your way. Let's do the felt sense here. It has a perceptive quality. You're just feeling your way into this intimacy with all of life, not separate, even as an observer, not separate. Notice the places that you may have disconnected from who you are or what soul 
kind of callings you have. And seek to reconnect here in the same subtle way that you're exploring the intimacy with all of life. Reconnecting with this kind of soul callings. It's a poetic way of saying elements or aspects of yourself that are deeply who you are and have yet to come more alive. What if it what if there was a reconnection with your the fullness and the wholeness of you in this moment? You may feel a quality of love, interconnection, just kind of a, the bliss of your own presence here in this moment, the bliss of recognizing this non-separateness. And if so, yeah, just allowing that love or bliss feeling to flower the heart through the whole body. Noticing how you feel in your whole body, from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Perhaps a deep rested presence. So if we just remain here, just breathing in and out. If there seems something important in your meditation to be acknowledged, just make space for that. Is there something here to be seen or acknowledged or known? Maybe something very practical or just even an old memory or a feeling tone, anything at all. Just make space at the end of the meditation for whatever's here. In the last part of the meditation here, just let, let yourself, if, if possible, just feel held and supported by the surface you're resting upon. You may place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, making contact with the body. Feeling the, the preciousness of being alive in this moment and sensing and not taking that for granted. Just 
just envision yourself before we close, just going through the rest of your evening. Having this buoyancy or being carried or held as you move through the evening all the way into bed and going into bed and having a deep sleep and waking up feeling refreshed. Like there's been practice that has this deep self-care where you feel available for the day, for what's ahead. And just in your way, let yourself rest here before you begin to move to close the practice. Moving your fingers and toes and slowly bringing your knees in toward your chest and rolling off to one side. Remember, remembering the, the radical nature of this welcoming where you, know, you might want to say this too, this too in the next moment when the next thing arises, this too. Letting your body let go of refusal. Be in this radical welcoming that then can have an, a spontaneous response in each moment. Yeah, so take your time coming back and we'll have some time for reflection. Thank you for the practice. <laughs>